Hey guys, today I'm at Connection Thailand Underground Riverside at Terminal 21 Rama 3 in Bangkok, Thailand. This is a Tokyo Drift themed meet. So we have cars from supercars, classics, and more modern cars. So let's go take a look around and see what we can find. Yeah, this car is so cool. This is from the era of WRC when I used to watch it really regularly. I haven't watched it for years and it, since I don't know who most of the drivers are anymore, but Petter Solberg was one of my favorites, so I love this car. And of course, next to the STI, we have a, an Evo. There's an Evo 8 or 9. I, I'm never sure of the difference because I was never an Evo guy, but I do like them. We have another Evo over here that's wide bodied. I'm not sure which one this is, like uh, Evo 6 maybe? Oh, it's way off, Evo 4. I really like these ones. And we also have a nice uh, WRX and a Scirocco R. These things are sweet. And this show is crazy. There are so many cars. It's super hot in this garage and it's incredibly loud because there's people playing their stereos that like their whole car is the sound system. And just in this concrete structure, it's insane. Here we got a couple Mark IV Supras with a Mark III breaking up the party a little bit. We got this nice green Impreza. This STI is rad. I like the fender flares that they have on it. And we got an RX-8, some Celicas. There we go, an early Daihatsu Copen. This thing is cool. Uh, it's got Recaro seats in it. It's got some really weird wheels. Like, look at these. Okay, I haven't seen Lightning McQueen with these LED eyes going on with it. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's a new thing. Wow, look at this Evo MR wagon. This thing is sweet. Like, they never got the Evo wagons in the US. I'm actually not sure if there were Evo wagons or are these all conversions. But next to the Evo wagon is one of my favorite cars. And it's also in a color I really like. It's a, a 911, like 80s 911 SC. And it's that kind of root beer brown color. These things are just such nice looking cars, but they're so expensive now. They're like unaffordable. Wow, look how big the turbo is on this one. That's crazy. Got a really nice looking uh, villa intake manifold too in a big uh, throttle body right here. Big blow off belt. He's got Haltech coils. Let's check out the back. Oh, he's got a parachute. Uh, how fast? There. Uh, quarter mile. Okay, so it's a 10 second car on radials. Holy crap, that's fast. This is also a 1200 horsepower car. Wow. <laughs> We got a Ferrari over here. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It looks much better with the white and the red than yellow and red like in the last video. I don't know if it's the same model. They look similar, but I'm not a Ferrari guy, so I have no idea. Holy shit, it is hot in here. We got some models back here. Here we go, we got Heng's Garage booth here. He's even got models with GTR uniforms on. So this is his GTR that's, I think it's 1500 horsepower or something. They just had a, a video on Haggerty with it. Oh, and Heng is right over here. Oh, Kun Heng, nice to see you again. Yeah, it was really cool. I got to see this car in person at Heng's Garage. Uh, I went with Chad from CV Media and a group of other guys off of the Patreon. It was a really awesome experience. There is so much stuff in his garage that you can't look at all of it. You have to, I think you would have to go like three or four times to really see everything. There's just so many things to look at. Check out this Supreme Lamborghini. Some models with it. Oh, this is awesome. I didn't expect to see a Bozo Soku bike club here. Like, look at this stuff. It's so cool. Sadi Oh man, look at 
look at this thing. Looks like it's right from Japan. These are some really cool bikes. This guy's bike is really awesome. Aside from having a hot girl on it. Like it's got this crazy like hologram star flake in it. It's so cool looking. Oh, this Civic is rad. I like the wide body on this thing. This one's really cool looking. So I So I did my cab. So I did run my. It's Ron Mach. <laughs> this car is actually a drift car. So it's got a uh, twin turbo 1UZ in it. And it's rear wheel drive, obviously, to be a drift car. But I saw this car in Buridam last year at the Formula Drift event. It was battling against a rear-wheel drive Yaris, so it was like a battle of the hatches. It was great. Look at Z3. I don't see these very much. We've got models dancing, taking photos. Oh, we got the girl from the bike. Here we got this Mitsubishi Triton again. This thing is so cool, but the engine still confuses me. Like, why is the intake going in there and in there? Who knows? Okay, I found out why it's so fucking loud. It's this guy. And this guy. a gigantic turbo on it. Is it a compound setup? No, it's not. It's just one big turbo. This thing is really cool. Here we got the Civics again. Like every car show, they're always here. There's always a ton of Civics at these shows. I mean, like most shows, there's always a ton of Civics. There's just a ton of them in general. Here's a CRV. That's a lifted Civic. This CRV's got a K series with a top mount intercooler on it. That's interesting. Maybe they just didn't want to deal with uh, cutting the front to do a front mount. We get a lot of heat soak from that. Like, look how close it is to the valve cover. And there's no fan or anything on it. They do have a scoop on the hood. You can see up there. Wow! Look at this. It's twin turbo with the intercooler on the rear bumper. They're two very small turbos, but it's like a really crazy setup. But it's also got a cool livery. What is this? Uh, it's from an anime that I've seen before, but I didn't watch. Oh, he's pulling the engine out. Let's see. Oh, and the fuel system's back here. That's cool. Is the engine in the front? Yeah, there it is. That's what's her name. I've only seen one episode of that show. Oh. So D-Series, it goes all the way back. Oh, wow. That's super cool. What a wild build. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, so it's a Darling in the Franks. I think this might actually be the most interesting, maybe not the best, but the most interesting Civic build that I've seen. I mean, using a D-Series and doing two small rear-mounted turbos. I haven't seen anything like that before. Super cool. Okay, let's keep going around. Let's go downstairs. Oh. I did find out that the yellow Dragon Ball car is a car that I've seen at Drag Avenue for a backfire competition. He just didn't have the wrap on it yet. And he won that competition. We have a whole row of Civics over here. And then one RX-8. Oh, here's a 323 Astina. Oh, here we go. Boy, the Scarlet. These things are awesome. 
So these use the uh, 4K turbo engine, but they're front wheel drive, so you still need the earlier ones to have the rear wheel drive. So these things look so cool. I love the this little grill that they have on them, or on these turbo models. And these things are actually pretty cheap. Like you can get them for a couple thousand dollars. And they look so cool. Like I like the, the little scoop in the roof or in the hood and uh, the bulge. God, it's so hard to think of how loud it is in here. Holy crap. Some cool Toyotas. Look, this one's got a, a ZZ engine swap in it. And it looks like LS coils. I like the Patronus livery on this car. This looks really cool. Even with the, the matching underglow. That looks sweet. I'm not sure what car this is though. Wow, this Corolla looks awesome. I like how it's got uh, the great wave on it. But then we have this Celica over here. It looks like he's just made a few additions. It's got a uh, underglow, color changing underglow now. And I don't remember it having this uh, this light cover. But it looks so cool. Oh, look at this. This has a 4A TCE swap with a turbo. I just put my earplugs in because it's so goddamn loud in here. But it's also Song Cow style. Wow, look at this awesome Suzuki chimney. It's got a huge turbo on it. Or it's at least a huge housing. I bet the stock turbo is inside of this giant thing. I mean, look how small the hot side is. But it's still like a little three cylinder. It's got kind of a Hummer style grill on it. It's a really interesting color. Thing drive in. It's got cool graphics, and I like the the little spoiler on the back. Ah, oh, look at this weird little thing. I don't know what this is. It's uh, it's got a V on the badge. I like this color. It's kind of a sea foam green. It's uh, I mean it just says Volt on there. I'm assuming it's a cheap Chinese EV. It doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look awesome. It's just a weird little car. Okay, I guess we've got to a row of cars that are pretty unique. We have this Bozozoku style car. This thing looks awesome. It's a really cool color, purple and silver. Look at that. I don't even know what this is. Like a, a Toyota. It's got some really dish steel wheels. So they cut those apart and widened them. Is this like a Cressida? I like the little the little stars they did in the taillights. I'm not sure what car this is. Yeah, no idea. So next to that, we have this old Camaro. We don't see these too much. Uh, I think this is the second one I've seen here. The first one was that uh, Bumblebee car at the uh, Cars on Flight. And next to that, we have this Mustang. And these are both in really nice shape. Still got the big V8 in there. I don't know what that one has. It might have like a UZ swap or something. Uh, here's that Mazda 323 Astina. These are pretty neat little cars. So it's actually a Toyota Lantis in other countries. I found out that it's not the same platform as the 323. It's the platform that's the one size up but they still call it a 323 Astina for some reason. It does still have a BG or BP. Yeah, BP engine. So that that's shared with the 323 and, and many other Mazdas. And it looks like everyone's leaving and there's like a big traffic jam. Go look at this weird car. What is this? I'm not sure what this thing is. I feel like I've seen it before. It says Subaru on it. I think this is actually a, a badge engineered uh, Opal or something. I remember looking online and I found that it was a different car. I'm fairly certain it was an Opal. So weird looking. There's only one of them this time. Last time I saw several. Uh, here's a car I just spotted. For those of you that know what a Ford Festiva is, this is the car that it's built on, a Mazda 121. So it's got everything I think is the same. It's got the same uh, 1.3 liter, but it's just got a different body. 
I like this one. He's got Watanabe's on it. This is the first one I've seen. I've only seen pictures of these. It's a pretty neat little car. Wow, check out this Datsun 1500 pickup. I like the Bart Simpson over there. Look at this. It's got a... Uh, what is this? An SR20? I think that might be an SR20 in it. It's a four-cylinder. I don't know what else you would swap into something that's a Nissan engine. It looks pretty awesome though. A little bit rusty like most of these things are. Wow, look at this. I think this is a Corolla. But look, he's got a Mazda engine. That's awesome. I never see people swap Mazda engines into things here, especially not into a Toyota. Oh, here's that weird Lamborghini styled MRS. There's a real Lamborghini. Could you tell the difference? Hello. <laughs> some guy's shot. Oh, look at this, an Impreza hatchback. I used to have one like this, but it was, uh, it was like the base model, it had the 2.2 liter. It wasn't a STI, so it didn't have all the stuff on it, but it was red, so it's practically the same car. I didn't have the cool uh, STI hatch on it, though. I wanted to get this kind of hatch because I think they look really cool with the wings on it. But then I crashed the car. <laughs> that sucked. I almost missed this 911. Look at this thing. It's got this crazy wide body kit on it. It's got a fake roll cage in it. That looks janky as hell on an expensive ass car. This wide body kit looks crazy. And it's got like a whale tail on it. Or is this a Cayman? I think this might be a Cayman. So if you're coming to a car show like this, I highly recommend bringing some earplugs. I have some earplugs in right now that are for going to concerts and stuff, and it helps a lot. Because it's still loud as hell with them in, but at least I'm not getting any hearing damage. As far as I know. Well, it kind of looks like things are winding down. So that was Connection Thailand Underground Riverside. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.